Yo, what's up, y'all? It's your boy P. Lai, aka the Brick Slinging. Uh, as you can see, I'm in a different ring area. This is actually my place, my bathroom, all that good stuff. Thank you, Lord. Uh, I know it's been a while since I've done the video, the last video dealing with uh, Hog Gazelle, but uh, I'm back, and your boy got something to say. So. Not too long ago, I've been hearing a thing or two about what's going on with gospel artist Leandria Johnson. Uh, apparently, once again, she's she's on social media, just letting it, letting releasing some stress and saying some stuff that she need to get off her chest, and and it's like to me. This is what I'm getting. Um, Leandria Johnson is known as the bad girl of gospel music. In my opinion, that's kind of a contradiction to a degree because to be the bad girl of gospel music is to be the total opposite of the message within the music. You know what I'm saying? Whether you be bad girl or bad boy. But this is just my opinion, you know what I'm saying? And this ain't the first time she be on, this ain't the first time she was on social media just wilding out whatsoever. Like, one time she was on, uh, for, on social media on Labor Day and just letting people, showing people how she get down celebrating the holiday. And during that time, a lot of people were just letting her be known, like, yo, you don't need to be wilding out like that. You don't need to be drinking in front of, you know what I'm saying, doing that stuff. But she kind of took offense to that. And stuff like that kind of remind me why I don't drink or why I wouldn't recommend anybody to get drunk. Nothing against those who drink on occasionally, but get being drunk on another is a different story. Throughout the you know what I'm saying? Throughout the Proverbs, you, we let it be known. It's the word of God through Proverbs. Let it be known that too much, too much, too much of that hard stuff will get you out of character. No longer in control of yourself. You know what I'm saying? But uh, but on this one, she started getting that, you know what I'm saying? The likes of... Uh, Marvin Winans and talk about how the church is this and Christianity is the cult and all that stuff to me. And it's like, wow, all this time we as a church allow that. We and we we pick the pieces of what we wanna do, uh acknowledge and ignore the other stuff. And it's not like what she's saying wasn't true. It's the presentation of it that is the attention. You know what I'm saying? And 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 what it seems like is that people and within and outside the church is looking at her as a distraction. You know what I'm saying? She. She 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 she's built she's spilling her guts out on social media, which is like a dangerous platform because once you go out and do this, that, and the third, you become entertainment. You know what I'm saying? You don't become the person that's giving out the warning. You're not the person that's screaming wolf. You know what I'm saying? When they're actually a wolf, you're entertainment now. You know what I'm saying? You are a reality show. You're not. What you're trying to put yourself out to be. You're not trying to be real. You're trying to be relevant. You know, and that's what it seems like what she's doing. And like I say, it's not like what she's saying is uh, and I'm not saying I agree with Christianity being a cult, because I'm a Christian. But what I am saying is that what she display is exactly what's going to get folks' attention, whether if it's a good thing or whether it's a bad thing. But truth be told, and this is just me, I think 
two things need to happen. She either needs she needs to sit down and 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 and, and get back to square one with herself, with with her relationship with God, because you can tell a tree by its fruit. And right now her fruit do not display the fruits of the spirit. Unfortunately, through that clip, the fruit of the spirit is not within her. You know what I'm saying? How can you say you have self-control when you let every word in the dictionary, including the profanity, out of your mouth? You know what I'm saying? Nothing come, it's not what goes in you that, that defies you, it's what comes out of you. You know what I'm saying? Life and death is in the power of the tongue. So if you just letting words just fly out, you know what I'm saying, and this, that, and the third, what else you expect people to do? You can talk about the thing, the dirt that's under the rug all day, every day. But if you putting out words like using profanities, going left and right, guess what? That's not what you try. What the message you're trying to say is not going to be heard. It's the key words. It's those it cuss words and profanities. And you're a Christian. They expect more from you as a Christian or Christian artist, whatever the case may be. If they expect you to say, expect you to be certain thing, they expect you to present yourself right. They expect you to, you know what I'm saying? But even the Bible, it says, now let no corrupt communication come out of your mouth. And once you let it come out of your mouth, ain't it doesn't matter what you say. It what matter is the presentation and the keywords. That's what matters. So, my opinion. Just that. It's not a judgment call, although some may listen to what I just said and say, I'm judging when I'm not judging. You know what I'm saying? But she needs to sit down. Like, really sit down and get herself together. Come get back to the square one. You know what I'm saying? Stop trying to uh, 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 look for other solutions to numb the pain. When you're the one that's selling the gospel in your music, you know what I'm saying? If you're selling the gospel with your music, that means you believe in this product. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not making making it seem like the gospel is the product, but at the same time, the music is the product, and what's in the music is within the product, which is the gospel. And you just can't go out and sing one thing, but say something else, because now, you look like something that they expect from Christian, what some folks expect from Christian, which is hypocrisy. You know what I'm saying? They expect hypocrisy from Christian and Christian gospel artists, Christian artists, whatever the case may be. They expect hypocrisy. And once you display it in your, in your platform, whether it's Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, whatever the case may be, once you display that on your platform, you are you already made up their mind for them. And those who already made up their mind can look at you, look at her, and say, this is the reason why I'm, I'm not a Christian. This is the reason why I don't go to church. This is the reason right there. And whatever level of knowledge they have of Christ and, and church and the kingdom of God goes away as well. They may remember where they was at, but they don't want to go no further because they depend on somebody like Leandra Johnson to get them up there. You know what I'm saying? To help them to grow, to help them to go through something. And if they, they, they you know what I'm saying? Like you can expect folks to give them the, give them hope in their music, but when they look at something like this and they don't see hope, then there goes that chances of holding on. Point blank. You know what I'm saying? She either needs to sit down and get back to get back to the basics of, of being a Christian or being a being in the gospel of this of putting out the gospel. You know what I'm saying? Cause how can you say the God God of the Bible is what help you become a better person when they see this? They display see this display. You know what I'm saying? You taking shots at gospel music legends. 
you know what I'm saying? And you're taking shots at other, you know what I'm saying, of, within the church. Even though certain things that church needs to stop doing, you putting yourself out there. It's, it's like once you out there and you expect people to listen to you and, and look at you as a role model and you display this, then the product that you selling to them is all false no matter who that puts it out. No matter if it's Kurt Franklin, no matter if it's Mary Mary, uh, Marvin Winans, Marvin Sapp, uh, Fred Hammond, uh, you know what I'm saying? You name it, the list goes on. Once they see you as one person, you know what I'm saying? One entity doing this kind of stuff on your platform, then everybody else that is down by is down by association, point blank. You know what I'm saying? So, she either needs to sit down and get back to square one, or she needs to just exclude herself from the gospel music community, the church, and Christianity as a whole. You know what I'm saying? Because right now, she is now collateral. She's now reliable, you know what I'm saying, in the industry. You know what I'm saying? She is reliable within the industry. And y'all know how I am as far as the industry go because the industry is a different entity than the church. You know what I'm saying? Even though they work, some of them work side by side, they different entities. You know what I'm saying? This is a different institution. The industry is one thing. The church is another thing. You can't get on the, get on a platform and start wilding out, spashing out this, that, and the third and think that industry is going to push that when even though they label she is known as the bad girl of uh, of gospel music if you go out and wild out and spaz out and do all this stuff that 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 contrary to the gospel and, and it's a contradiction to the word of God and, the, and, it, and it makes a bad image when it comes to the, the genre that you're in, the industry is not going to continue to invest in that. You know, one of these days they're going to let her go and say, you know what, we're not going to, we're not going to put money up on you because you're making us look bad and you're making us broke. You know what I'm saying? So we would have to let you go. And then when it comes to the church and not only the church, but also the, the, the Christian music promoters, they can't risk, you know what I'm saying? They can't risk bringing someone like Leandra Johnson, whether she's drunk or sober or she's in her feelings, whatever the case. They don't have time to invest in someone, bring someone in their church. And the crazy thing is she's a pastor. She's a pastor. They're not going to invest their time and put their money up to bring someone like her into their four walls to minister to their flock like that. You know what I'm saying? And cause more controversy to the church, to the four walls, to the, to the institution. They're not going to waste their money trying to bring somebody who is reliable and to minister. You know what I'm saying? Because they, the minister are there for the reason, which is to minister, to present the gospel, present the message, and, and hopefully that the people will take heed to the message and try to apply it one way or another in their life. And if they can't see, bring somebody in that doesn't, in one way or another, do not believe in the product that they sell. They don't believe in the gospel that they sing about. You know what I'm saying? Once artists say, I want to live the life that I sing about. If the music that you sing about and the life that you live in are two different things, then guess what? You've been putting on a show. And if you've been putting on a show, no way they ain't going to let you in the church. Now, not all churches are like that. Not all churches have standards, point blank, period. Not all churches have standards. They might allow Larry and Johnson to come in and sing a couple of songs, put out a message and this, that, and not do what she do. But the thing of it is, only thing we as Christians can do right now, especially those that can't really touch her and stuff like that, is pray for her. Pray for her and 
pray that she get back on track. You know what I'm saying? Because you get on these plat, you get on this platform, and automatically you get in the judgment that you either want it or you didn't want. It. But either way it go, you're going to get exactly what you put out. Because you put out drama and nonsense and this, that, and the third, and you letting that all come out of your mouth. Guess what's coming back to you? The drama, the nonsense, the, the, the controversy. All the stuff that you put out is going to come right back. You know what I'm saying? The whole what goes around comes around. It's like what you plant. What you plant, what you plant is also what you're going to get. You reap what you sow. So if you put in that old... And spazzing out and cussing and talking about this person and talking about that person. Guess what? That person has a reputation and you throw dirt in that because he did he or she did not, you know what I'm saying, accept you the way you want to be accepted. You just can't get mad. You you would think somebody that's been in the game for 10 years all of a sudden get upset because the person that they look up to did not want want to accept you. You know what I'm saying? That's like if the truth, I look up to the truth. If the truth would have came up to me, if I would have came up to the truth and be like, hey, truth, what's up? Boom, 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 boom. And he'd be like, yeah, it might hurt, but what's the point of trying to downgrade somebody because they didn't say hi or, oh, man, I was glad to see you. Boom, 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 boom. You been doing your thing. Keep doing your thing. Boom, 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 boom. So what? So what? That's that's part of life, you know what I'm saying? Not everybody's gonna get a hello from their favorite artist or actor or businessman personality or anybody. Anybody. That's just life, period. But the last thing you need to do is wanna make a person look bad because they didn't say hi to you. That's petty. So like I say, Leandra Johnson needs to either sit down or a scoot a scoot excuse herself from the whole thing before they let her go for her. You know what I'm saying? She need to get back. Now, I'm not saying she need to stop saying what she said. I'm saying she need to be careful with how she said it because not everybody is going to be everybody's going to 100% accept her like that. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, man, only thing I'm asking for People that's watching this is to pray for her. You know what I'm saying? And pray also pray that they don't become that. You know what I'm saying? And hopefully all the other gospel artists that's falling off and, and losing their self, losing their state of mind, and losing the, the, the kingdom state of mind, the Christ state of mind, hopefully they don't lose that as they go through these last days. You know what I'm saying? Continue to present the gospel, but make sure they continue to live it out. You feel what I'm saying? So that's just me. If you like what you heard, press the like button. Dislike, boom. If you feel like there's some more to be added, that's comment board. If you disagree, like I said, if you feel like I was out of line for this, that, and the third, put it on the comment board. You know what I'm saying? If you feel like there's a question needs to be asked, ask the question. You know what I'm saying? And subscribe. Please subscribe so that you'll get more videos like this. And check out some other videos. It's also part of this uh that's on my channel, the Brick Slinger channel. You know what I'm saying? So until then, it's your boy Pila, aka the Brick Slinger. Continue to support the kingdom. Continue to sharpen one another. Take care and God bless. Laborers.